I'm Danielle. I'm Caitlin. And together we're our time of the month. And today we're doing something that we made up yesterday. In the past we have done what we bought at the Sephora sale, but we're actually being intentional enough that we're creating a video before the Sephora sale launches. What? So maybe you can use some of our inspiration and recommendations before you place your orders? Ugh, shocking. We're gonna do it like, mo no, not Mo Mendes. Grocery. Grocery. Leslie Jones is the host now. It's our favorite show. Supermarket Sweep! Supermarket Sweep. We're gonna, do thank you. God. We're doing it like supermarket sweep, but not like racing to see who can spend the most. No. But setting an alarm so we can't browse forever. Correct. And putting together a cart. So it's good for me. It's probably going to be a mixture of like must have re uh, replacements. Okay. Things that I love and I want to use this option to buy them again. Yes. And then also. I don't want to pay full price for products that I haven't used before and I don't know that I love. Right. So there will probably be a couple things that are new that I want to try and yes. I want to get that discount on. I have been mentally keeping a note and maybe even loosely in my notes app on my phone about things that I've seen online the past couple months that I think, oh, put a pin in that. I would like to buy it on sale. Yeah. I'm not letting myself buy like an eyeshadow palette or anything like that that I know I yeah. have no use for. Yeah. I think I, I'll be upfront. I think mine's going to be a lot of like skincare. Yeah. And probably um, like summer skin products. Yes. So whether it's sunscreen or tinted balms or things like that, that's probably what I'm going to be going for. Lightweight makeup if I'm picking out makeup. Glass skin kind of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I might glance at the fragrances as well. I might glance at the candles. <gasps> the candles? The candles. So Caitlin and I are both going to use the Sephora app on our phones and we're just going to use this opportunity, take a moment here, mm -hmm. to tell you that we've applied to the Sephora squad for the year 2022. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Listen, whatever you can do to write us a little review and just let the people at Sephora know that you would like to see people like myself and Caitlin represent what beauty means to us, then you can just go ahead and leave us a review and vote for us. Mm -hmm. You just vote for us, you can share it in your profile, it makes it very easy, it's free, it takes two seconds. We are just two girls standing in front of the internet asking you to love us. Choose us. You don't even have to love us. So we are going to shop on the support app on our phones, start adding things to the cart, and then after 15 minutes we will come back to you and share quickly with you the things that we have. It's a virtual haul. We will be shopping the Sephora sale, so we will actually have what we ended up buying, and then eventually you'll see them incorporated into our stuff and you'll see reviews on them. Yep. So just follow back. How many minutes? 15. Okay. 20. 20, I think. 20 minutes? Starting now. timer and I think we both were just dicking around at that last minute because we were pretty much done. Yep. Uh -huh. How many items did you add a cart? Ooh, great question. In 20 minutes, no editing, also no concerns for uh, cost, uh -huh. I added 17 items. Okay. Where are you at? 14. Okay. My grand total Oh, right now. Uh huh. No discounts. Four fifty-seven. Five nineteen. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. <laughs> no. Wait. Why did I say that? Also, because it's hypothetical. Because we're not actually. Right. We're not doing either of these cards. 
Do you have anything that you repurchased? Okay, yes I do. Okay, because I had a couple things, and these things I probably will purchase because they're, I'm out of them, I want to have them again. Right, um, the first one, and it would probably be like my number one thing, the thing I've been like waiting for a reason to buy again because I miss it, is the Ren Clean Skincare Bio Retinoid Youth Concentrate Oil. Oh yeah, I should try that. I really enjoy it, I'm no, all out of it. <laughs> I'm all out of it, I want it back, and I have been actively missing it, so that means I get to buy it again. Okay. So my first repurchase would be Origins Checks and Balances for all the face wash. I thought about it, I almost put it in my cart. I haven't bought it for probably a year, so I'm due. Mm -hmm. I also have the NARS Soft Matte Complete uh, Concealer in yeah. Creme Brulee. I am scraping at the edges of mine. It's time to get rid of it and have a new one, and I, I love it. I will be repurchasing the Pharmacy Filling Good Filling, F-I-L-L-I-N-G, Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. I wasn't the biggest fan of the scent of honey, but I really loved that serum, and I think about it a lot. I think about it a lot. I think about, I think like, about how I liked how juicy and plump my skin felt and looked after I applied it, and so I'm going to buy it. Mmm. I also have the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the Amber Contour Shade. It's my, it's so easy. You draw it on like a crayon, you mm -hmm. blend it out. I hesitate to really go to any other contour because I just feel like this one is the easiest, most consistently good. It's the right color because it has a cool toned brown rather than anything that skews like orange or too warm. Mm -hmm. I just haven't seen anything, I haven't found anything that performs better. And go. for $28 less yeah. 20%, it's worth it. I agree. The Josie Marin Intensive Daily Repair Body Butter for eczema, extra dry, and sensitive skin. This was something that I was sent in Octoly, and it very, very quickly made its way into a favorites video. Still, hands down, probably the best, most soothing, most comforting, hydrating, beneficial body cream I've ever used. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely zero fragrance. It just feels so soothing and calming on your skin if you have any areas of eczema or you've got like kp on the back of your arms or on your thighs it just feels great it doesn't feel greasy but it feels deeply nourishing mm. it's pricey though yeah which sucks everything is i will be repurchasing the san saint tropez self-tan bronzing water face mist don't i'll give you mine it's full i don't love it oh really yeah i feel like every time i use it i'm like Oh, this is uneven here. Oh, too much here. Mm. Okay. Maybe I don't use it. I mean, you can still buy it, but I'm, I had it set aside to give you. Well, yeah, I know if you don't want it, I definitely will. Well, okay. I'll take it. I'm and gonna... it's newer because they sent it to me after you had gotten it in our mm. giveaway. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit newer. Cool. That's fine. Okay. It doesn't bother me. I'll take it. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, lovely. My last repurchase is the Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick and Biscuit. Oh, wait. It's so good. Oh, wait. Oh, it's twice the price. Yeah, almost. Almost. Everything Caitlin said about the Fenty, that's how I feel. I feel like it practically blends out for you. No, I know. You're it's just, so fucking easy. That's so good, though. I've never used a makeup product easier. I forgot. I forgot how much I love that, too. Mm -hmm. And then my last repurchase will be the Verb Volume Dry Texture Spray. Nice. I really I like really it. Like that. I do. It's very light. The, f the fragrance is not my favorite, but it's like a powdery kind of floral scent, but whatever. It's not the scent that I end up smelling on my hair all day, so it doesn't really matter. You just did a texture spray. I'm also getting a new texture spray. It's like one of the tried and true Ooh. hair products. I've never tried this one, which is weird because I love so many other other things and seeing their praises. Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray. Gonna give her a go. I bet you'll love the way it smells too. I bet I will. Every product has just been so, it, it agrees well with the texture and type of hair that I have, I guess. Mm -hmm. This one I think was in the new section. It's the Kosas Tinted Face Oil Comfy Skin Tint. I have it, I put it in my cart as a shade 3.5. Oh no, no, okay, shade 3.5. That's a light with neutral undertones. Nice. Yeah, but I probably will also take, I didn't take too much time to try and find the right shade. Oh, yeah. Face masks. You know I love a good mm. face mask. I'm going to try two new ones. The Ula Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. The reviews are really, really great. And the color, I showed Caitlin, is this stunning teal. Oh, I, that's what that was. To me, it looks like when you think of like your mom going to the spa when you were a little kid, like this is the color face mask that I would have pictured. Yeah, because it would be like white robe, terry cloth headband, teal mask. 
Mm -hmm. Cucumbers on your eyes. Mm -hmm. It just looks really spa-like. Yeah. Cold plunge. Cold pour plunge. Well, I'm wondering, does that mean that it's going to have some sort of like menthol Let's cooling, it. tingling It's a situation. cooling mask. Yes, Ooh, that yeah. instantly reduces the look of pores, smooths texture, and controls oil all day. Hmm. It has snow lotus in it. Snow lotus. The next one was uh, inspired by also TikTok. So there is a hairstylist that I cannot remember her name, but if I can look it up and link it down below, I will. She is a, a hairstylist. She works for herself on TikTok, and she has been taught. She's really great about providing real deal recommendations for um, common hair issues. So she has really dry hair. She tried. She, I think she did put a little bit of bleach in it the other day. She's naturally very dark hair. And so she's like, it's really dry. I want to treat it. She regularly does hair oil treatments. Um, and so she, a lot of the time, uses a combination of the Verb Ghost Weightless Hair Oil and something else. Um, so I have the Goat Weightless Hair Oil, and then I have the other product in my cart as well. I follow her too. I couldn't find her name. I was going to try to do that, but yeah, if I can figure it out. Um, I got another face mask, as I said. It's the Caudalie Instant Detox Mask. You might realize I'm trying to plunge out my pores, clear them the fuck out. Mm -hmm. And I've heard really good things about this as well. A few people that I do follow on Instagram have been using it for years. And for some reason, it's just slipped through the cracks for me, despite it being on my want to try list for like five years. Hmm. Isn't that weird? That is weird. I think the other product that she likes to combine the ghost weightless hair oil is the Verb Moringa and Jojoba hair oil treatment. So I have that one in my cart as well. They're both $18. So... Not too bad, but they're only one and two ounces. So it's three ounces for $36. Oh yeah. Meh. The Merit Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick. Mm. Do I need another fucking new lipstick? No, I don't. Is that it's one stunning. Is that one like your most impulsive purchase? Because it was just advertised to you on the like new section? Yes. And the shade I want to get it in is baby. Baby. So people are like, what you're what's on your lips? I love your lips. Baby. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thanks, baby. I've also been seeing this on the internet places, the JVN Complete Pre-Wash Scalp and Hair Treatment Oil. Yeah. I want to try it so bad. I have added it to cart multiple times, straight on his website and also on Sephora. So I think I will definitely be pulling the trigger on that one because what I have been doing recently is actually before I go to wash my hair once a week, I take my Pro's hair oil. oil that they sent us mm -hmm. that really is meant for your hair, not for your scalp. But I've been like skinny sectioning back with a rat tail comb. And then I will just literally lay a drop and drag it down my scalp. Oh, nice. And then let that sit for out as, as much as I can. Typically it's hours. I will even put on a um, plastic cap Do you so that massage it locks in? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after I put it in and like run it vertically, then I have to do a whole thing so that it gets in between the rows that I did. And so I end up with like crazy greasy roots for two yeah. inches. And then I'll, then in the remainder of my hair, I'll just do a hair mask. Yeah. And so I'll just let it sit for a couple hours while I like mop my downstairs or, you know, hang laundry or whatever. Yeah. And I've noticed that it really, really helps. Okay. I have added the Shiseido Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. Oh, just for fun. Just, excuse me, just for fun. But also because I saw a more mature skinned lady on TikTok wearing it and she oh. she might have been a makeup artist. I do think it's silicone based, which I never I never like a silicone primer. She raved about it so much. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try that. Give it a try. Never heard anybody else talk about it, so I trust her. Maybe just this once. So I went and I put the Saint Tropez the face mist back in my cart. And then I saw that they had a self-tan purity vitamins bronzing water body mist. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try that because nice. a friend of ours showed up to a party and she said that she had used the Saint Tropez mist all over her body. And I was like, how's that possible? Like there's not that much in the butt, like whatever. So that's what it is. I think she actually used this one and she looked great. It looked very natural, very subtle, but tan. The Mod Wipe water activated biodegradable wipes i'm not using these as a an at-home maintenance thing 
I like that they're biodegradable and I like that they are kind of like towel sized, like hand towel sized. Mm. Because I do a lot of camping and a lot of the times we do primitive camping so there are no bath houses and I would like to clean myself those bits, you know, mm -hmm. and do that the piece. Yeah, do that with a wipe that's not a baby wipe. I really don't like a baby wipe. It says it's biodegradable. I will not leave it in the earth. I'll probably like burn it or whatever, but mm -hmm. it's just nice to have that kind of an option. It packs really light too. That's the other thing. I am on the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer and Daytime Eye Cream. Finally! I, oh, I was like, why is it $56? Cause I have two in the cart on accident. <laughs> I have been wanting to try this for so long. I can't even tell you what about it makes me want to try it, but it, I just, um, I love it. Even though I have two. I love it, haven't tried it. Haven't tried it. Even though I have two concealers that I know I love right now, the NARS Creamy Concealer um, and then the RMS Concealer as well. Love them, great. Am I still gonna buy another one and test it out and maybe be disappointed? Yes. I have another mod product in my basket. It's the Shine Ultra Hyd Hydrating Organic Aloe Based Personal Lubricant. Mm. So if you didn't know, I did share this on Instagram, I think a month or so ago. Sephora is now selling sex toys and accoutrements. So things like lubricant, wipes, potions, Intimacy lotions. Intimacy oil. Yes, all those things. Candles that you burn and then pour the hot wax onto your body and use it as a body oil. I bought two. Which, who's getting it poured on them? Me. I think it's still your go. No, it's not. Oh, lube. Oh yeah, got a lube. Congrats. I'm excited for it. Of course. It has a pump. That's what I wanted to tell you. Hell yeah. It's like just a dupe dupe. So while I was dibble dabbling with the Kosas concealer, I happened to notice that they have an airbrow tinted clean volumizing eyebrow gel. And what drew me to this was that even from the teeny tiny little photo I could see of it, it looked like they had a very good color for my eyebrows with this hair color. They have one that is a true auburn, but when I saw it on the model, it is red. Mm -hmm. That is for red haired people. I am going to be trying the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. Mm. This is another thing that's been in and out of my cart for a really long time. Every time the color that I've been wanting comes in stock, I'll go, I'll add it to my cart, I'll think about it, and then when I'm like, okay, I'm ready to purchase, it's gone again. Stop doing that. <laughs> to me. Yeah. Not you, me. Oh. So the color is Happy Soul, S-O-L, and again, this is another one of those really creamy looking bronzer sticks that I see the girls using on the TikToks, and it practically blends out if you look at it. Huh. Curious. That's what I'm wanting. I'm wanting that. Yes. I believe it. I want like wetter stuff. Uh-huh. Less dry. Yeah. Because it's too much dragging. Um, I also did put two Fenty brushes in my cart. I have the Cheek Hugging Bronzer Brush, 190, and then I have the All Over Eyeshadow Brush, 200. There were some other eyeshadow brushes that I liked better, but this particular one already happens to be on sale for $17, so. Wow, even that still sounds expensive. Though. It is. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. Oh. I think it's really funny we haven't had a single overlap. Oh, I feel like we never do. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, fun. Unless it was like Origins Checks and Balances. Yeah. Or like Lancome, Gen Lancome yeah. Genifique. So this is a new launch for Laura, Laura Mercier. Wow. And the colors just look really stunning. And I like that it's marketed as a tinted moisturizer blush. So I know it's going to have that finish that I want. It's not going to be matte and dry. Okay. Uh, the next thing I have is the Tower 28 Beauty Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen Foundation. <gasps> Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately, the color that I think I, oh wait, no, maybe not this one. Um, so I put it in the cart for now as the shade 10 Larchmont. It's light with yellow undertones. I may end up changing that to something with neutral undertones because the yellow looks pretty yellow. But I ha love the Tower 28 glosses. I believe you've said you've loved every Tower 28 product you've ever bought. And that was really sold out until just now. They just unveiled it again. Mm. Oh, I might have to get that. Yeah, so I think we're gonna, uh. I'm gonna try that because again, I want to wear less makeup. I wanna wear less obvious makeup. Yeah. Um, so, cause I still go to work every day. So I would like to still have a very like professional looking face with makeup. Um, so I, uh, like foundation probably will help with blurry and stuff until my skin is at a place where I'd be happy to, you know, walk around barefaced. Mm -hmm. My last product is a Danessa Myricks Beauty 
product and it's called Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. I want yummy skin. And now that I'm hearing yummy, all I think of is yummy tummy. And yes. That's what you yes. Use a, your favorite legging for a while. Yes. Yummy tummy. Because I used to be like, that's a disgusting thing. <laughs> no, the worst thing about it was that it was Y-U-M-M-I-E. It wasn't even yummy with a Y. Because yummy with a Y is probably already gone. Absolutely. But, oh, sorry. I was uh, going to tell you about this. Oh, yeah. This has jojoba oil and hyaluronic acid. Uh -huh. Jojoba! Jojoba! Uh, it says the finish is radiant. That's why I wanted it. And Danessa Myricks <laughs> uh, is a black-owned beauty brand that I've been wanting to try. So that's the first thing from that brand you've ever tried? Yeah, but I almost added her, she's got like cheek and eye, like multi-use cheek eye lip products. Mm -hmm. And they're liquid, like a lipstick, doe foot applicator thing. But Michaela uses the shade Nutcracker for her contour mm. and that shit looks awesome. Mm. But I think it's a little too much for me. Probably. Like if it's good for her, I think it's not good for me. Yeah. I can agree with that. The last one that I have is the Super Goop Resetting Refreshing Mist SPF 40. Um, after Amore Pacific stopped selling their spray on sunscreen, I was really sad because I just felt like it was ideal. It was perfect. Um, the coolest sunscreen I've tried, don't love it as much. Yeah. This one, I was gonna give it a go. It's $32 for 3.4 ounces and I don't love putting on sunscreen, but I love to wear it because this face is the money maker. Hello. Um, but yeah, so that to me just is the easiest application. I can spray it under makeup, over makeup, without makeup, all of the above. What's the SPF on that? 40. Is there anything else? No, I think that's it. We set our totals. We told you what we wanted. We'll do the video showing you what we got. We'll probably do some follow-ups showing you how we did or didn't like things. You know, we didn't tell them with the dates of the actual Sephora sale. April 1st, if you're VIB Rouge. 20% off through the 11th. Not an April Fool's Day joke. Actually starts on the 1st. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Always. Watch our last video. Watch our next video. Watch all the videos, please, and thank you. Yep. Comment, like, and snakes. Ring that bell for notifications. Um, and then go ahead and just like subscribe on all the things. So Instagram, TikTok, OTM Caitlin, OTM Danielle, Goodreads, same usernames, uh, Twitter, all of the different podcast yeah, yeah. platforms, we're on it. We're uploading new episodes. We're hoping that we're gonna have at least three new podcast episodes to come out out of this weekend, but we'll yes. see. We um, and then anytime you have uh, suggestions for content, questions, concerns, yeah. down below. And a weird question. What should our budget be for this sale? <laughs> be generous. Ooh, that's a great question. If you're, especially if you're a financial advisor, please make a note if you have any sort of experience in budgets. <laughs> you know what we should do? What? One year we should do a, we let our subscribers pick what we buy from the sale video. Honestly, that's such a good idea. We buy your recommendations. Because at some point we're just gonna, like even now, I could have them do that and I wouldn't be sad that I like didn't get to pick anything, I think. I wouldn't be sad. Yeah, because I just buy it myself. <laughs> yeah, like I could get, you know. Yeah. I, these are the things I really want, so. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. that could be fun. We should yeah. make a note for the next sale time, so fall. Yeah. So we could do that. Mm -hmm. It's the Christmas sale. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we're going to cut it. Oh, bye.